Hello YouTube, this is Krosama, and here we have today is the high grade build divers, Gundam Jian Ultron. Uh, this suit is piloted by Tiger Wolf, and it's pretty much a melee type suit that has a lot of uh, unique type of parts on it, uh, namely just that uh, Tiger and Wolf head, uh, but it's mainly built off of the Ultron Gundam, uh, but it does have some unique kind of abilities. So let's go ahead and dive right in to this review. So the construction of this kit is actually fairly easy. Uh, nothing really out of the ordinary as far as any kind of build divers kits or any build uh, fighters kits at all. Um, the only thing that you're really going to have to do is probably add some little extra paint details to it overall. Uh, especially with like the tiger and head parts because they're going to have a lot of stickers with it. So if you want to go ahead and paint in those black details, you're definitely going to have to pull out the, the black paint, whether it be marker or just regular hand paints. Now pretty much this entire kit is going to be all brand new runners except for the wing Gundam kit um, that has the inner frame runner that's going to be uh, joined along with this so some of the parts on here are going to have that wing Gundam inner frame and I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I mean when it comes to the articulation. Okay, so we're taking a look at the head first. The details look fantastic. Uh, you're basically going to have a couple of stickers, uh, mainly for the eyes, that little red jewel right there, and then the metallic blue for the uh, front and back uh, like cameras. So overall, the you know details are really easy to go ahead and paint in yourself. Uh, no kind of issues whatsoever. Uh, it's going to be molded in pretty much all this green. And once again, this is going to be a brand new mold. Uh, so the V-fin looks fantastic. Uh, it's very like samurai, uh, maybe like Chinese warrior type uh, ordeal but I love it because uh, it's very you know Tiger Wolf is basically a martial arts master so this kind of like emphasizes the uh, that kind of warrior uh, look to it now for the articulation is basically going to be on like a little ball joint right there so it can definitely move all the way around and then spin like so all right, so we're taking a look at the body. Basically, the body is almost exactly like the original Ultron. I don't really think there's much of a difference at all. Um, so to my knowledge, this looks pretty much exactly like the Ultron. So this is what kind of gives me the confidence that they might actually release a Ultron, like revive high grade, uh, which would be fantastic. So uh, here's the hoping, but you know, let's go ahead and not get our hopes up too much. All right, so we're taking a look at the arm. Uh, the arm's pretty decent. Uh, it's very, very basic. Nothing really noticeable as far as like, because um, usually the dragons would be attached to the arm itself. Uh, but this time around, they're attached up here. So uh, not really anything crazy going on. They're just very, very basic looking. Now, when it comes to the articulation, basically you're going to have like this little uh, poly cap that can actually let it come out like so. Uh, but it is going to be like on a little ball joint so it can kind of rotate all the way around. Uh, definitely swivel at the bicep right here, if you can see that. Uh, and then this joint, which is kind of like what I mentioned, is uh, from the Wing Gundam. So it's going to have like a, like a really weird kind of like way that it can actually move so it's definitely going to have a pretty good range, range of movement but that's uh i i consider that not to be uh intentional uh that's just kind of like what they want to utilize for the inner frame so you're just going to have some uh extra little articulation right there but um i'm not going to say that's a, that's a con because that's probably going to help it out a little bit more when it comes to the posability and then obviously right here for the hand is just going to be on like a little ball joint so it could definitely move all the way around like so all right, so looking at the waist, I uh, went ahead and painted these like little details in right here, uh, the little black, uh, I guess that's vents, not really too sure, but I just went ahead and painted that black because um, it was just all green and kind of looked a little weird, so I wanted to kind of break that green up. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty good. The front, uh, this looks a little bit like uh, the Ultron as well, um, and as does the uh, the back, but this doesn't really move at all. Now, you are going to have these side skirts, which are going to be on like, these little poly cap uh, joints right inside there, so they can definitely move up this much and then kind of just rotate on that little uh, poly cap joint. And then right here, these are going to be able to uh, basically flip up like so, especially when you cut in the middle. And then looking at the legs, legs are pretty dope. Uh, they have like this little mechanic right here. Uh, so this is like some kind of claw that comes out, which I, uh, it's called the Geon Breaker, but like it doesn't look very practical. Like, I mean, I guess maybe if you bend this back, you can kind of get a little bit more uh, room, but it doesn't really seem like this is going to be grabbing much of anything. So it's kind of a weird, um, 
feature that Tiger Wolf went ahead and added to this kit. Um, but overall, hey, it does add, actually add aesthetics to it overall. And I think the details are pretty fantastic. So you got these little vents you can go ahead and paint in uh, on the back as well, uh, a little bit on the foot right there. Um, but overall, it looks pretty good. The details are fantastic and it does have some pretty good aesthetics. All right, so now when it comes to the articulation, basically it's gonna be kind of like more of your standard, uh, normal high grades coming out that much, and then it can go forward pretty far uh, and backwards, pretty much not much if you're gonna go ahead and maybe move it out the way you can get a little bit, but uh, overall you're not really getting too much. And then you're gonna have like a little swivel right up here, and down here is gonna be more of the wing um, inner frame, so you, you are gonna have that like really weird kind of articulation, so it can kind of like go forward like that, so it's a little bit odd, uh, but I mean, honestly, it's not really hurting it at all. Uh, if anything, like, like I mentioned uh, with the uh, elbow, it's kind of helping it, so in certain poses, you could probably get it uh, to go a little bit more dynamic, but that's pretty good right there, so I'm not gonna go ahead and um, say anything too negative about that. And then right here, this uh, ankle is gonna be on like a little ball, uh, ball joint right here, so you can kind of pop it off, uh, but it can move around just a little bit, and I do like that feature. And then for the, uh, the feet, the feet can actually rotate very, very nicely, like so, and like that, and they can go up about that much, and then all the way back about that much. Okay, now we're looking at the backpack. Uh, basically, this little part right here can come out like so, and then it can also rotate right there, and then the shield itself can rotate if you wanna go ahead and do that. So I just kind of keep it up here, but you can go ahead and like kind of move it out like so, but there's no real handle for it to use, but um, you know, it's, it's pretty nice just kind of sitting right there. Now when it comes to stickers, uh, you are going to have some stickers right here that you can go ahead and utilize uh, for that shield, but like I, I don't know, I just kind of painted it myself. Uh, didn't come out like the greatest, but you know what, I just wanted to go ahead and paint it because I didn't really care for the way the stickers look, so yeah, uh, I just recommend go ahead and paint it if you can. And then looking at the wings, basically gonna have the same articulation as the shield, so this uh, definitely can rotate all the way around. Um, this one, not so much, but this little part right here uh, can definitely rotate, but it's supposed to be pretty much looking like this. And then this little individual wing can also move by itself and move back and forth, up and down. All right, so now looking at the Tiger Ken, uh, this thing is pretty cool. Uh, There's gonna be a lot of stickers, pretty much all right here. This sticker, uh, there's supposed to be stickers for the eyes. Uh, don't think there's there's nothing for the nose, uh, but you're definitely gonna have some for the eyes and all this, all this right here alone uh, was just for um, the tiger. So you're gonna have all this black right here. Uh, I just went ahead and painted that in, painted the nose. I did paint the teeth white. Uh, just that way it looks a little bit better and then uh, paint the eyes. So overall it looks pretty good. You're gonna have uh, basically a little um, peg hole that you can go ahead and plug it into the shoulders. Now the actual dragon fangs, these can pop out like so. So it's gonna give it a little bit extra range of articulation. Uh, so kind of moving in, moving out. So that's not bad at all. Uh, it does rotate right here at the base. So if you kind of want it to you know, rotate however you want, you can definitely go ahead and do that. And then right up here is definitely gonna be more rotation, so um, this just is only gonna go up and down, but this one kind of rotate at the base. And I painted uh, the eyes black, and then I painted these little like flame Vulcans, uh, painted that black as well, because that was all green, so wanna go ahead and break up that color. Now these can actually move uh, up and down, and then the mouth can move up and down very, very slightly as well. And then here is Wolfkin. Uh, so basically, uh, the only stickers you're gonna have is going to be for the eyes, which I did paint. And then I went ahead and painted that nose, painted these like little whiskers right here, and then painted the teeth white. So uh, just give it a little bit extra flavor, you know, a little extra, a little zazz. So overall, it looks pretty good. Um, you know, nothing really too crazy with this one. I do, I do like the wolf a little bit better than the tiger, just because it's a little bit more uh, simplistic. Okay, and the way you're gonna go ahead and plug these in is just going to be on the side of the shoulders like so. Okay, so while I mentioned that it actually uh, utilizes the wing uh, runner for the inner frame, it is gonna have a couple extra parts uh, right here, so nothing really too crazy, just like some parts for like the backpack and the waist. And then lastly, you are gonna get the rifle from the uh, the wing Gundam, so if you wanna go ahead and just throw this into your backlog of weapons to use for future references, or like, you know, kit bashes, you're definitely gonna be uh, more than welcome to go ahead and do so. 
Now also this kit's gonna have two little accessories, basically handles, uh, so we can go ahead and attach the wolf coon and the tiger coon to the hands. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and take these right off the shoulders. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the little handle right inside there, and then just put it right inside the hand like so. And lastly, you wanna go ahead and pop it right on a stand. And then here he is with the tiger wolf combination. Uh, he does have a secret technique which is called the ultimate secret Ryu Koro Do. Uh, which it's basically what I consider uh, a G Gundam-esque uh, kind of like hyper mode. Uh, which is pretty cool. I mean I would definitely like to get another one of these and just paint it in like all different shades of gold. Um, and just kind of like having a hyper mode. Because this thing is really badass looking. I don't care what anyone says. This is really, really dope, and um, maybe some people will have gripes with it because, um, I don't know, maybe it's because it's not fully an Ultron. Uh, I haven't really seen too many people hate against it. The Tiger Wolf kind of gimmick is a little corny, uh, but I think it just it fits well with it overall. Like, it definitely looks more uh, menacing, I guess, with those. Uh, I mean, I think the functionality isn't all there, but you know what? It's not really too bad, and I definitely approve of the overall weapon usage of those two heads. But if I can ask for anything, it would definitely be a high grade Ultron TV version, or a master grade Ultron TV version, or perhaps a high grade Ultron Endless Waltz OVA version. But you know, with everything said and done, I think this kit is just fantastic. It doesn't really come with a lot of accessories, but I think with the whole gimmick of the tiger and wolf, you really are not gonna need much outside of that. And plus, it really just works well all together as far as the aesthetics. And the Taku slash Ultron, Shenlong, whatever you want to call it, just never was a long distance fighter. So it was more of the melee type, which really fits uh, the aesthetic of this entire mobile suit. And if you're the type of builder like I am, that just loves to pose your kits almost as much as the building process itself, then you're just going to have such a great time with this kit. Uh, the posability is fantastic, the articulation is amazing, uh, there's not really much room for improvement, if I can really say so. Uh, overall, I think that this kit is just one of the top, I would just say probably one of the better build divers kits that we've seen thus far. Well, that's it for me, guys. So definitely thank you for watching. Uh, as always, you know, if you've built this kit, let me know in the comments below uh, exactly what your thoughts were on it. If you have not built it, uh, let me know if you're planning on trying to get it or, you know, maybe if it's not your type of kit. Uh, let me know in the comments below why, you know, if it's not really your style. Uh, just, you know, give me a little description of why you don't really, you know, care too much for it. Uh, but that's it for me. So like I mentioned, you know, definitely approve this kit. So if you want to go ahead and buy it, I definitely would encourage you because it is just a fantastic looking kit uh, even with minimum effort you can definitely make it pose uh, pretty you know dynamically and it's gonna have some nice little shelf presence but that's it for me guys so definitely thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next review bye bye